Hello everyone and um, welcome back to the Moo Blog. I'm Matthew Oliver, your um, local mooer. And I hope you're all okay and having a lovely day. It's a lovely day today, that's why I thought about going outside, but I'm feeling a bit cold. But it's still a very nice day and lovely weather where I am. I hope it is nice where you all are. And it's, you know, you're outside sitting down, having a relaxing time. Obviously, being during the week, it is not relaxing. We're all very, very busy. Busy little bees at the moment. Um, so today's five reasons is talking to you about five reasons um, on etiquette wedding etiquette for your wedding ceremony. For those of you who are not really sure what etiquette means, etiquette is the traditions, the traditions of your wedding. So the um, how the olden days used to have it. So if you do want to keep it traditional and go with the, um, the right traditions then this would be very useful for you. Also it's quite a good little tip to find out and remember how it used to be done back in the day and obviously these traditions have gone, you know, from years ago and they're still to continue today which I think is really nice because it means that there's a certain um, history when you're creating your wedding and that's the nice thing about it you know your great great grandmother um, got married and you know doing it like this is how she did it so it's, it's nice um, in that sort of respect as well so yeah I hope you enjoy it and I hope it helps you um, in understanding what it means in the terms this is only for the ceremony part not for the reception part the party part your the food the planning and everything this is purely for the ceremony when you're actually getting married on the day so the five reasons number one reason is not to forget to take your engagement ring off okay a lot of people don't realise and don't actually do it without being told. So make sure your 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 engagement ring is off, and either maybe on the other hand, or given to someone trustworthy like your bridesmaids or heads bridesmaids or mum, for instance. So just don't forget that. Once you've got married and you've been given the ring, the wedding ring, then you can put the engagement ring over the top of it on your you know your 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 ring finger. The reason why you're probably wondering why it's actually on a finger, um, and but why it's that finger is because this is the only vein that connects to your heart from one of your fingers. So it goes all the way from your finger right to your heart, which is really nice. So love, obviously, and that's why that was cho the finger was chosen for um, for that part for that for that finger. So second reason is um, when you're doing the ceremony, and if you are keeping it traditional, and you've got you know your groom and the bride have exactly the same amount of guests in this you know even a civil service or a catholic or um church of england or any sort of service you're having left and right so left is always normally traditionally the bride side and right is traditionally always the groom side so if you want to split your guests traditionally then you always know left side bride side right side groom side Immediate family was at the front, and then you know, further back. Um, you know, if you're not doing it traditionally, then always nice to have the same amount of people on each side. Don't have to go with the tradition, but it's nice to have the same amount of people just because of the photographs. You don't want empty seats in your photographs, especially if the bride hasn't got any family or friends and the groom has, and they're all over that side. You want to mix and mingle a little bit. It's not. It's not attractive. Third reason is um, when you're walking down the aisle, you've got your bouquet in your hand. When you get to the table or the altar where the service is taking place, give your, your bouquet to the head's bridesmaids. Some places like Cyprus, normally they like to put the bouquet on the actual table um, for photos for when you're signing, but that's a civil ceremony in, in Cyprus traditions. But over here you can do it however you like, but traditionally you give the bouquet to the head's bridesmaids. Fourth reason, like I um, was talking about the right and left and right, you're normally traditionally father of the bride, your father will give you away to the groom. However, if you haven't got a father, unfortunately, may have passed away, you don't talk to him anymore, or something's happened in the past, or then obviously we don't want to speak about that. Then obviously anyone that's given you away is always going to be on the left walking down from their family. So they'll be walking down the left hand side, their family's going to be there, they're giving you away to your new family and to your um, husband to be or partner you know, fiance, <laughs> however you want to say it. So they'll be on the left hand side walking down, you'll be link he, he will be linking, or he or she, or whoever it's going to be, will be linking you. You're walking down the aisle. They, traditionally, I always say, they 
give you a kiss on the cheek and shake the your partner to be's hand and then go and take the seat or if it's going to be like if it's structured and you've got um a priest or a civil the um the registrars they'll be there you know telling you beforehand or when you meet them up beforehand there's loads of different ways of doing it but this is how i like to achieve it so that's another tradition so father of the bride always on the left or anyone giving you away always on the left nice to walk slowly not too fast fifth reason on the ceremony as well obviously there's more than this and but i'm obviously trying to keep it to the five reasons any more you know any more help or advice you want just let me know but the fifth reason is um walking it's not really a reason and it's not really a tradition but obviously american traditions and english traditions are very similar but also very different and this one fifth reason is talking to you about the bridesmaids do they walk in front of you or do they walk behind you traditionally the english tradition is they walk behind you bride in front with your father or whoever's giving you away the american tradition is them walking in front of you and that obviously is entirely up to you i personally however like bridesmaids in front just because if you've got this m marvelous piece of music you know it's really a it's really you know beautiful then it's nice for them to walk down slowly elegantly and everyone gets to see them as well and then you know a nice a nice size gap then you and your p person giving you away is behind and then everyone gets to see you you're the main attraction they're obviously all here to see you and what you're going to be looking like so it's nice to let them keep them waiting and see the bridesmaids first how beautiful they are and then they get to see you obviously this is my this is my how i would do it but there's so many different ways of doing it and obviously there's no no right or wrong with which you know how they walk down but if you remember all the old traditional films like sound of music she's walking in front maria with maybe a little flower girl at the front you know spreading petals and stuff and so it's absolutely fine but this is nicer and gives the crowd more like waiting and like wow and beautiful and because if you're walking in front they're not really going to take um, notice of the bridesmaid because they, they all want to see you and how beautiful you're going to be so that's the five reasons on how to do your etiquette for the wedding ceremony if it's civil or church so that's the little tips there for you and I hope it helped and I hope it gives you some advice on you know what you can create for your wedding so that's me done today i hope you have a great time and hope this tip comes in useful um for when you're planning your wedding thank you very much for listening and speak to you very soon thank you very much